Oh hi! I didn't see you there. Good evening, and welcome to part three of my trilogy. So, I've already told you about an interesting summer at Wendy's I had. Uh, two particular encounters there, and uh, out of respect for the people's identities, I'm simply calling them Meg and Allie. Flash forward several years, I'm working at Bob Evans as a host, which means I, you know, set people up with the tables and everything, and, you know, things are going well, and after a few weeks, they get a new server, Allie. This has been years, you know I let go of things after less than a day. And I know that she probably has more to be upset at me about in her mind, as far as she's concerned. So I'm understanding when she's not particularly nice with me, but I stay professional and I be nice as I can be. I, you know, treat her just like any other server there, you know, and get uh, people on their tables uh, equally. As, as best of my abilities. And um, things are going okay, you know, like she's, she's a little mm, towards me, but no big deal. Until one day, we do have a problem. I'm cashing people out, you know, I'm at the register, and um, one person's check comes in, and I scan it, and it says it's open on another, uh, another computer. I'm like, okay, well, we have two other computers, and if the check's still open, like someone's adding a dessert that they did at the last minute or something like that, you know, so it happens. I'm like, okay, hey, I'm just having a brief computer issue, I'll just take the next person real quick, and then we'll get back to you after that, because hopefully it'll, it'll, it'll be resolved. And so I do this, and the next person, it's open in another computer. It's like, they only have two computers, so these two checks are the ones, so I'm like, I better go check on that. And I come up on the computers, and they're both Allie's. And she's... She's over there. I'm just like, these people are trying to leave. I'm, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna like point fingers or anything. I'm, and I'm not even going to accuse her. I'm gonna ask a question instead. You know, ask, don't tell. That's good for writing and dealing with people. And so I say, Allie, uh, did you have something else you wanted to put on these? Or, you know, like, I don't even finish my question. And she's all, don't you tell me how to do my job. I know what I'm doing. It's just like, whoa, right? I'm like, okay, I'll let you do it. I'm going to go take care of the customers. I head back over. Uh... I'm like, yeah, she'll take care of it in, uh, in just a few minutes. And I get what people I can. I, I keep an eye out. I'm like, wait until she gets the stuff taken care of. And I finally get to close this out and everything. But the, a line has built up. And so there's more people here when she comes back around to give me the business. And she's like, don't you be telling me how to do my job. You know, she goes off on me. As I'm trying to like run these people's checks and everything, and I'm not saying anything. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna be a jerk or anything. I'm quiet. So the lady who comes up next is like, "Oh my God, was that your manager?" And I'm just like, "Oh, she's just a server." I got. I figured this lady was worried that I was in trouble or something. I'm letting her know it's okay. And she says, "Well, I'm a manager where I work, and I would not have let." one of my workers do that in front of a customer. And she's like, can I talk to your manager? Now, my family's Christian, and in the Bible it says if you have a problem with someone, you talk to them first, and then there's other people you talk to after that. Um, you know, I feel that the honorable thing, if you have a problem with someone, is to talk to them first before going over their head and everything. And even in this scenario, I'm thinking, uh, if she talks to a manager, this could cost Allie her job. If she talks to Allie, it could cost her some feelings. Um, but if someone had a problem with me, I would much prefer they talk to me before going over my head. So what I say to the lady, I give her the choice, as I say, do you want to talk to my manager, or do you want to talk to her? 
And Lady thinks about this for a moment, and I think she had kind of a, a similar thought as I did, is that maybe it's the right thing to talk to her. So she says, I'll talk to her. Now she's got fire in her eyes, don't, don't get me wrong. You know, even if Allie keeps her job, she's not gonna like me either way. I know this. But anyway, I'm like, okay, I'll let her know. And I do. I let her know the customer wanted to talk to her. That's all I said, you know. And Allie comes by. This, this lady walks her into the, uh, into the girls' room and apparently gives her the business. I did not feel good about that. I mean, I didn't do anything, but I do feel bad for that. And when she comes out, for the second time in all of our interaction, she comes out of the girl's room, cry face all over, red and everything, and I'm not proud. Mean as she, you know, has treated me, I don't want that for anyone. But I may have kept her her job. Ah. But instead of seeing that, she goes to the managers, tries to get me fired. Because she tells them that I said stuff about what happened at work, being unprofessional, telling, blabbing to customers. And that's not the case. And I wasn't going to take the heat for that. Um, they came to me, and they liked me. You know, I have a good work ethic. I'm, I'm a positive guy. And, uh, you know, I, I do things the way I'm supposed to do them at work. And, you know, that's why they like me back at Wendy's. Uh, that's why the managers like me back at Wendy's. That's why the managers at Bob Evans like me. And so they came up to me, they, and they asked me, you know, like, what's, what's this all about? I told them the story, uh, just as I've told you. And, uh, you know, I'll admit, I did say, you know how, how easy I am to get along with, so you know when I say Allie is difficult to work with, you know you can take that to the bank. I admit that I said that. I don't feel great about it. Um, you know, but I felt kind of put in a corner. But anyway, I want to say... Uh, if Allie is watching this, that I hold no ill will against you, and, you know, I really hope that, uh, you're doing well. Life's too short to hold on to these. That's the point of this message, uh, is that, you know, we really gotta get past the little things. Learn to appreciate each other, work, learn to work as a team, um, mm. Like in the first story. Hope you guys have a good one. And uh, we'll be back to being uh, quite goofy next uh, next time. Thank you. A hilt, a hilt, a <laughs>